carefully placed in plywood boxes, this tortoise has a set to travel nearly 4,000 kilometers by road and air to their new home in Noflai, a town 35 kilometers from the Senegalese capital. The 50 animals were born in Monaco, the oldest, eight years ago. They are leaving the comfort of the Oceanographic Museum to live in the wild as scientists scramble to save the endangered species. They are going to Senegal because initially they came from Mali. Well, their parents came from Mali, so it's true that naturally we wanted to set up a project with Mali with an NGO that we had met and made contact with. However, the political situation in Mali in recent years has deteriorated considerably, so we had to put an end to the project because we couldn't complete the program, so we had to stop and look for a new partner. In no fly, in order to maintain their rank as the third largest land tortoise after those of the Galapagos and the Seychelles, they will have to start recovering their instincts to try to find their own food as opposed to handouts and make their own nests. Their parents did all this before they were given as a gift to Prince Albert II of Monaco on his visit to Mali by President Amadou Toumani Touré in 2011. The ridged turtle, which is endemic to the Sahel, is a threatened species. As you see here, they are in what we call a quarantine enclosure. It is not open to the public, so the tortoises are going to relearn how to eat what a normal tortoise eats, not a tortoise that will eat lettuce all the time, carrots and all that. So that's important to know, and we're going to teach them the basics of living in the wild again. There are at most 150 individual reached tortoises left in the wild in Senegal, according to the African Institute for the Study and Protection of Turtles.